Welcome to Good Mythical More. You know what? Hmm. It's a privilege to be able to decide. 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 With Z. What you're gonna be remembered for. Oh, privilege. Even if it's just in a game where Stevie presents two options, yep. and then we have to choose which thing we would rather be remembered for. Yep, it is a privilege. <laughs> it really is a privilege. And I'm glad you put it into perspective. And I'm also glad that we get voicemails and we're going to check it right now. Link. Link. You used to be my favorite. <gasps> oh, it's a rough day. Yeah, it's not a good day for me. Sorry. It's not, <laughs> it's not a good day. I'm sorry, man. You're just having one of those days. You know? um, I just, think it's the year. Just, I think it's the year, dude. You're just, you're just having one of those. Hey, but listen. At, at a certain point, you just have to start thinking, you know what? Next year's going to be a better one. Well, here's the thing. If you look on the bright side, you used to be her favorite. Right. There was a while there, ago. I mean, it could have been could have yeah. been years and years and years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how they talk about like that uh, a millennial pause for TikTok? Have you, have you heard what that is? No. No. It's like, it's like Gen Z trying to be like, well, older people, which... I guess millennials older, they yeah, yeah. wait until the video's recording. And so there's like a oh. little bit of a pause yeah, at the done. top of their video before they start talking. Yeah. Uh, that that person had a millennial pause for a voicemail. Yeah, well, that's that's a Gen X thing. The voicemail. The voicemail pause. pause. <laughs> what's, the, what's the opposite of a millennial pause? Starting on time. Like hitting the button and just starting talking? Knowing yeah. that it's like, I hit the button and start talking at the same time. I'm not saying I can do it, but I've seen the Gen Zers do it. They just, and they're okay if it gets a little bit cut off. They're okay with that. They're comfortable with it. I got this pickle. Yeah, so, okay. So Link has to hide, play hide the pickle, which which would mean that Rhett would have to hide the pickle and then Link would have to find it. But the twist is that I was teasing it's gonna switch and you're gonna have to play hide the pickle, Rhett, if you can't guess which episode this punishment was uh, connected to originally. Hide the pickle. From a list of choices? No. <laughs> what she's saying is we've done this before. Do you remember doing this before? Oh yeah, I remember playing hide the pickle all over the set, it was great. Uh, I think the pickle ended up in somebody's pants at some point. But what did we, what were we pickling? It was a pickle episode. Pickle? Was it related it was to the- will it pickle? Will it pickle? What about- Final answer? Yeah. Oh, so close. No, we didn't do that, did we? So close. Have we done with the pickle? International pickles. International pickle. okay, you can hide it. International pickles. So you didn't wanna hide it? I wanted to real bad, but I'm gonna get to hide it after I find it. You know we, the good- We did will it pickle. In oh, we 20, did in 2016. Yeah, I was about to say that seems like an early one. That seems right. like one we get to pretty right. fast. We didn't do it. We didn't do it this year. This this pickle has been dried pretty well. There's just a little bit of yeah, yeah, yeah. Wetness there. All right, got to keep the pickle dry. So I'm gonna. You you can. You want to give us the first uh, uh, scenario while we do. I've just been told that you thoroughly dried the pickle the last time we played this as well, Link. <laughs> oh, he did the same thing. Yeah, like he re-dried it. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's well. He's if anything, he's consistent. <laughs> we. Is that right? We've established that. I really dried the pickle, huh? <laughs> He's consistent about something. And is this where the um, the parking lot pickle came from? Mm. That was this year. Yeah. We invented the parking lot pickle. We sure did. Which is one pickle that you share between two friends in a parking lot. While Link is hiding- it's not two pickles. Yeah. You don't have your own pickle. Mm -hmm. Now close your eyes. While Link is hiding the pickle, can you ask us the first what yeah. we'd like okay. to be remembered by for? Would you rather be remembered for discovering a new type of bean or discovering a new type of dog? Okay, discovery feels like a... Yeah. Sort of a, like, both of these feel like breeding exercises. Yes, yes, yes. Like okay, cultivating. Yeah, yeah. I would say, so say, yeah, breeding a new type of bean or breeding yeah, yeah. a new and, type and of And because dog. dog breeding in general is controversial and frowned upon these days. No matter how awesome the dog you come up with is, the idea of it being unnatural. I'm going well, with bean, I'm going with bean. You could 
you could you discover a new type of breed yes. without breeding dogs. But I did, I do understand that logic. Shoot, this is going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Uh, can I ask a clarifying question? Is it currently on screen? Like, not can you see it, but is it in something or on something that I can... Per Absolutely. Okay, so it's on set. I'm an entertainer. I it's always take the, the coverage into account. <laughs> okay. Okay, can I ask a second clarifying question? Of course, you can ask as many as you want. Uh, can it be seen? Nope. It is concealed. I believe. <laughs> There's a chance you could see it, but. Okay. That's a hint. And then. I couldn't see it, and then I realized that you, I thought you could still see it, so then I. And then my last clarifying question is, you don't have it, do you? Because if you have it, that's not hiding the pickle. Right. I wouldn't do that. I don't have it. Okay, that's, uh, that look seems like maybe you do have it. But is, I don't. Is the pickle on your person? No. What was the second one? It w would you rather be known for something about a bean? <laughs> Inventing a well, bean? Yeah, like like or breed, breeding, inventing, discovering a, a new bean or a new dog, but then Rhett Med Or a new dog. About, yeah. Inventing and, a new dog? Well. I would love to be known for inventing a new dog. Okay, great. That is not but what Rhett It's controversial. You know what I'm saying? It's controversial. It's worth it, though. Um, <laughs> what would you call it? Um, <sighs> new dog, like new Coke. Um, it would be, it would be a bigger dog that doesn't shed. You think he can see it? It would be like, like a Labradoodle, but they don't go through that period where they're just nuts for a few years. I've heard that Labradoodles go nuts for a few years and you just like, it's just hard to, you're cold. A Link, a Link Bradoodle? Yeah, you just... Yes, I need I need warm and cold hot stuff. Warm warm cold hot. Um, stuff. I would like it to be a uh, a cat and a dog mixed. Actually, can we? I would, that's what I would like to do. If I have all the power, it would be a it would be a a cat dog. It would be Lynx. What? Uh, uh, Lynx chien. Which is French for hot or cold? Either cat or dog. I can't remember which. <laughs> Very cold. Warmer, 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 warmer. Oh God! <laughs> Up there! No, don't you do it! No, oh, that's tricky because that could hurt you. you. Like you're trying to cut me. It's a ceramic ski boot. Remember yeah, when we broke broken. that? We broke that this year. You remember that? Y'all remember that when it fell off and we broke it? Found the pickle. <laughs> when was that broken? Years ago. What happened? I don't know how that happened. Was it me or Link? I don't. I have zero memory. Oh. It was the cleaning the crew. cleaning crew? Did we fire him? <laughs> Eventually. No, we wouldn't do that. Okay. Uh, let's close our eyes. And you can ask the next question. Okay, so now you're hiding the... Okay. Uh, would you rather be remembered for being the actual best number one husband in the world or the number one father in the world? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think I'm... It's hard to imagine either one at this point, given my performance. <laughs> uh, well... He was, so I'm dead and it's the funeral and the wife gets up there and then the kids get up there. He was a wonderful dad. He was a wonderful dad. He was a wonderful Wasn't husband. Wasn't much of a husband. <laughs> he was a wonderful husband, not much of a dad. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with husband on this one and this is my philosophy on this. If Can I cover my eyes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it when you close your eyes. Uh, yeah, you can open. Uh, oh, you're still here. 
I think that one of the best ways to be a good father is to love the mother of your children. Oh, the catch 22. Um, <laughs> and, and again, I'm not saying that obviously some relationships end and you still have great love for your kids and you've decided you've grown out of love with the, their mother. I get it. Um, you get but, it? But assuming that you're still in you the relationship that? and that you are both committed to the relationship, then I think that... Uh, loving their mother well is a great way to love them vicariously. Well, I'm just, I mean, let's be honest. We have, if, if, where have we put more work? I've put a lot more work into being a good husband than being a good father. I really have. Oh, well, tell me about that. I mean, it's, what do you mean? It's, it's a lot easier to be a good father than it is to be a good husband. Oh, okay. I really think it, I mean, what? What's the oof? It's true. I mean, like you're in a relationship with another adult that you that there's there's you know there's ideally there's no power dynamic. Yeah. So it's like you're two individuals. People don't often going, end their relationship with their children. You're going through lives together. It's you know like what I'm you, saying? You gotta, it does happen, but it's much less common than ending a relationship with somebody. That right. You're in a romantic relationship. It takes a, it takes a lot of work for both parties to stay in a, a a vibrant marriage, but to like to stay in like a. I mean, my, my kids move. They're two out of three have moved out of the house. It's like my relationship now is just text, phone calls, and coasting. Coasting, yeah. You know, it's like the long the longer you're in relationship, the easier it gets because the less involved you are. But with a with a spouse, it just it doesn't it just it just it changes, but it doesn't get easier. Why don't you? And I'm speaking you, for her. Why don't you go look for the pickle? <laughs> Pickle in here? Am I right? About the relationship thing. You're right. You're so right. Okay. Pickle in here? Two ninety nine. What's the price tag on this? Are uh, you selling this stuff? Well, yep. It's all for sale. It's, well, you know what? Everything on set is prepared to be auctioned off in case Pickle everything in here? implodes. Uh, Stevie, give us another uh, scenario. I heard you go over here, so I know that the pickle is in the trash can. Nope. Would you rather be remembered for having the world's longest rat Whoa, tail? Whoa, hey now, come on, Stevie. <laughs> rat tail. Oh, rat tail. Or owning a rat with the world's longest tail. <laughs> um... I didn't even know this was here. Can I pick? Can I pick neither? Some marble in it. Can I just say I opt out of this choice and I'll choose to just go on living the way that I live right now? Nope, you have to choose. I don't want either of these, these things. Like having a really long rat tail on yourself? I don't want that. Pickle in here. Remember this? I do, I do. And how we put it into a really prominent place and everybody was happy about it. Um, Pickle is not in the sheath. I be, the, the rat, because I think uh, if you got a rat with a really long tail and you invite people over and you break it out. I know what you did. Everybody is like. No, you did. Everybody's into it. But if you're the guy with all, the longest rat tail on your person, then you're just the guy with the longest rat tail. You know what I mean? It's different. Like I can bring my rat out and then I can put my rat away. Is it visible? It is visible. If you were to stand right where I'm standing right now and look this way, you could literally see the pickle. What do you mean stand where I'm? I can see the pickle right now. Like I, it is visible to me. Look at it. No. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought it would be cool if you could see the pickle in broad daylight. Yeah, I think this is a good rule. Huh. <laughs> Look at that. That's fun, huh? I found the pickle. That's fun. I found the pickle. Oh, still uh, still in tune. <laughs> after, all, your turn. All right. after all these years. You have, you have seven seconds to hide oh, the no, pickle. Oh, no, no, no. Seven Six. seconds is not enough. Hey, hold on. Isn't it my turn to hide the pickle? I have seven seconds oh, to yeah, hide yeah, the yeah, pickle. You got, you, you, yeah. All right. Yeah, close yeah. your eyes and your time begins. You have 30 seconds to hide the pickle. Let's be realistic. No, okay. no, no. Next question. 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. <laughs> Okay, but Link didn't answer about the rat tail. Rat tail. Okay. Yeah, he would choose the rat tail. 
Uh, what do you rather be remembered for? Uh, being known as the guy who set fire to an entire town via gender reveal party. Oh. Or known as the guy who needed surgery to remove a candy cane stuck up his butt. <laughs> well, first of all, you don't need surgery for getting a candy cane out of your butt. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Of course, well, I guess if you go the wrong way, it, yeah, could, if it's, it, could, it could cause a problem. If it's hook in first, hook in first. Don't yank it. Uh, listen, I don't believe in gender reveal parties, and I don't believe in fires. <laughs> so I would be, I would be candy cane man. Oh man, this was easy. Come Dang, on, dude. That I didn't was think, so simple. Well, I didn't think you would look right at the crotch of the stuffed cockatrice. I, mean, I don't know, man. That was pretty awesome. It was green, I thought it would blend in. All right. I have seven seconds. No, I need more time, I need more time. Because cause you, you can tell where I'm at. And that's, it, we, all, uh, we need to make noise, make noise. Go, na 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 make some noise, Link. na 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 The pickle is hidden. The pickle is visible. It's right here, man. Yeah, it's hard. See, when the pickle's visible, it's easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I got it. I was gonna catch it. You know, it's a dry pickle. It's a dry pickle. I'm so glad it's dry. Let me let me hide it. Last time. Would go. you rather? Whoa, 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 whoa. Go ahead. I'm your listening to tombstone you. read. Yep, tombstone read. Longest rat tail. World's okayest boss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or, hella cool influencer winky face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I need more time. Um, I've I've changed my mind. Um. Okay. <laughs> That made a noise. Um, uh, I think I'd go with hella cool influencer winky face because it feels ironic. It feels ironic. You know what I mean? And it would be at Hollywood Forever because you can do a lot of weird stuff on your tombstone at Hollywood Forever. Have you seen those? I've hidden it. Have you Have you taken a stroll through Hollywood Forever? Do it. It's been a minute. It's been a been a hella minute for me. It's visible. How visible? Totally visible. <laughs> oh. Aww. Got him! <laughs> You're such a lame-o, man. <laughs> Finding pickles. Ah. All right, give me one more chance. <laughs> to find the pickle. We make so many memories that we don't remember. It's so scary, actually. I don't know, there's, there's just a lot of reasons to feel down today. The voicemail. It's scary that we make so many memories? That we don't remember, that I don't remember oh, any of this. Oh. It's like setting for a test, you just remember it for the test. The pickle is hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it still hidden? The pickle is not stable. The pickle is hidden. The pickle is hidden. But <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Uh, yikes. Yeah, Sorry. P pickle is. is not well balanced, though. Uh, Did you see where it went? No, I didn't ah, see it. Ah, I got him. I just heard it. There it is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> See, found man? it. It's so dry, it didn't pick where, anything where did, up. Where did you try to put it? Right up here? It was perched on the top of that bottle. Oh, really? On this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nice. It was really good. It was sort of blending in. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I would have seen that immediately, I, I hope. I don't know. It looks like it could be part of that thing. <laughs> oh, see? Perfect timing. That pickle's got great comedic timing. 
Let's take this dry boy out of the parking lot, shall we? <laughs> what we're doing here, I, why is it? <laughs> why is it? <laughs> And that's why we wear the poncho. No! <laughs> <laughs>